Hi guys, welcome back to the Rhodes campaign in RIS with Rather Incoherent. If you are enjoying this series, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated to both this video and go and subscribe to Rather Incoherent as well. And it looks like we are finally pretty financially stable and pretty good. I mean, you'd expect it at this point with taking all of these cities. You can see that RI has come all the way down to Hermupolis. And we are in a pretty darn good financial situation. We still have Mr. Elephant Man over by Carthage. And I do have some interesting plans for him if we can get him going. We've also got this little army over here with some generals and some Rhodian slingers. So interesting to see what we want to do with them. If we can get any ships to them, that is the other thing. And we also seem to be building recruitment hubs literally everywhere <laughs> so uh not those two but here here all the policies here 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 uh not there that's a ship right that's good there not there and then a few down here as well <laughs> and also of course in now kratis we are building that one we're building the upgrade to the city which is fantastic because we definitely need that and we are also getting up to rhodian recruitment three uh, in Saiz, which is amazing. Although we don't have the actual infrastructure to actually build anything from there just yet. Uh, so it's going to be a long time before we actually get up to good recruitment levels in some of these cities. But it is good to see that we are on the road to getting there as well. Now, this army is ready to go and deal with this army sieging down Alexandria. Who would have guessed that uh, they would want to siege down Alexandria once again, I do think we've got a couple of... Yeah, we've got a few hoplites around in this region. So we've got a lot of them actually around here. I wonder whether we can leave in here as well. We can do. So I think we want to join up that unit too. And we still have this... I mean, this army can only take one more hoplite actually. And we've got a load of generals in there to general stack, which is pretty nice. And yeah, we're in a decent situation. I don't want to go east. Like... I don't care if the Ptolemies keep sending stacks this way to siege down Alexandria. It really doesn't matter to us. Uh, what I want to do instead is go south and maybe do a few hijinks later on with a few different things. I'm actually going to pop that guy down a little bit further. They've got elephants down here too. But yeah, these settlements you can see, all pretty large, all pretty rich. And yeah, really, relatively good settlements to be honest. Um, and pretty undefended. So we do need to come down. Now, I do want to leave a defensive force. So we're probably going to start recruiting another defensive force. These guys are going to obviously get up to the level. And then hopefully we can get them retrained. Um, but we are pretty much at the best position we can be. The only place that isn't building is Rhodes. Uh, Alexandria, of course. But it's under siege. So it doesn't matter. But we really can't afford anything in Rhodes. I mean, we can get a shrine to Zeus. That's not going to be that useful to us, to be honest. Oh, it does have law, though. I wonder how much money that's going to bring us. 50? That's actually not too bad. I'll accept that. I'll take that. It's better than nothing, right? So, let's end the turn, guys. And let's see where we get to. Hopefully, Elephant Man can, uh, can recruit some elephants very soon. Now, it is over here where the elephants are. So, let's go in there just for now. Nothing in there. There is actually a mercenary here. It's the Numidian Javelin Men. But 3,300 for those boys is a little bit obscene. But there is something that I want to do with, uh, with Carthage, of course, if we can get enough troops. So we are going to have to keep an eye out for the mercenaries over there. But let's press the end turn, guys, and let's see what the Ptolemies want to do. Here we go, and we did get a candidate for adoption, Mantis. So I think we'll take him. Uh, and where did he like, end up? In Bubastis. He actually makes them slightly more upset, so that's not great. But what I am going to do is replace one of these garrisons down here so we can. Wait, did we not just... He just got bribed. What a bastard. What a bastard. So, yeah, I want to maintain the alliance with the Aetolian League. What an absolute bastard. Getting bribed? I am not happy with that at all. Um, 
I wonder how many men he has, because I wonder whether we can actually siege this down and just leave that guy there and maybe fill him up with a few more men. Maybe from here, like, say we had some Egyptian skirmishes. They're not going to be excellent, but yes, okay, there we go. And what else do we have? We've got Alliance in Tatters with the Aetolian. Oh, I thought I accepted the Aetolian League. I thought that was the way round, right? That was weird. But anyway, lots of buildings being built. We'll check on that in a little bit. You can come that way. You guys... Have they built siege equipment yet? No, they actually haven't. So we probably want to come around this way. There we go. And that's our movement points done. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Always love to see when the movement points run out just at the last moment. Uh, right, let's do our building then. Let's have a look at what we have actually built this turn. In Sabenitos Bustiris. Sabenitos Bustiris. We've got some actually good troops in there now. So, I think... Hmm. What do we get from this? Oh, we get some Matroi Floroi units from level 2. That's actually excellent. Do we have the ability to actually recruit them, recruit them though? No, we need second level stables. These guys, though... Yeah, 28 defense, not good, actually. Not good, so it's not worth it. Definitely not better than our hoplites, anyway. Um, but yeah, anything worth... I mean, the Matroi Floroid Cavalry, in general, would be better to recruit than Prodromoi. So, hmm. I'm kind of thinking we go for the stables there, at least, anyway. Go for the stables, and then we go Zeos over here. Got that one. Let's just concentrate on economic buildings for a little bit. Let's go for the Shrine to Poseidon. Bit of extra trade income. Four. Four trade for that. Eight for the market. So I think we go for the crop rotation then. Although, yeah, that's quite good. 5,000, but it's 100. Hmm. Nothing is really that worth it right now. So I think the crop rotation... Yeah, 5,071 though, but it's about the same as the roads. I mean, the Shrine to Poseidon gives a bit of happiness too. So we will we will build that for now. That's not really excellent, but <laughs> there's not many options there really, is there? And the Shrine to Mendez got the Temple of Artemis. So what are we doing in here? Taxes and farms are making a lot of money here. That just reduces money. That produces nothing. That produces 70 so let's not build anything in there for now because, like I say, it's just not worth it, really, until we get to Large City, which is actually very soon. So we will wait for that. Letupolis now did upgrade. Glorious. That's good to see. So I think we just go for the standard trader here because the trade is cheap. Going to provide us a little bit of extra cash. And they're not trading that much with anyone else, are they? But, yeah, roads would also be good in here because, although it's not a large area... So movement isn't that much of a worry. But let's just go for the trader then. Nice and standard. Standard for that one. And Kynopolis over here. You're making 1,400. Not that much from trade. So again, it's not going to be that useful. But they do have corruption. So we want to get rid of that corruption. But we also do want a little bit of population growth. Especially since there's only 2,000 people in here. I'm assuming that was a bit of an extermination. <laughs> Hermupolis over this way. Let's have a look. Um, again, probably population growth to get this place growing slightly again. Uh, because everything else is just so expensive and probably not worth it. Uh, this settlement, we, we spent all that money. All of that money. And yeah, we, we can't do anything about it. Ah, that's, that's, that's lovely to see, isn't it? Let's spend the rest of our money on some garrison troops here. We can also go for some more Macedonian hoplites. And then over here, some more Rhodian hoplites. And we are getting close to being able to set up a new army. We really just need those Rhodians to get retrained. Because when those Rhodians are retrained, we are very OP, guys. We are very OP. Without the Rhodians, we are just a standard unit. We also have three guys over this way. Hmm. Any, like, small garrisons that'll be worth chucking in somewhere? That we can swap around, maybe. I mean, we've got a lot of hoplites as garrisons, which is quite tough. So I think what we'll do, we'll swap you into there. And then we'll get you 
to go in there just to make sure that this army does not take that for free. Same thing here. Can we get in there? We cannot. That's tough because they might go for that one because it does actually border one of their settlements, as you can see. So it's not just a free garrison in there. Hmm. Yeah, we've, we've not really got... Uh, although, you can actually reach there, so... There we go. Fantastic. We're good. We're all good. Let's have a look at Elephant Man. Let's see if any uh, any mercenaries have come available. A couple. A couple. How about in here? I wish that would stay open when you do that. Elephant Man. Elephant Man. What have you become? You have become a man stuck in Carthage. Doing nothing. Except looking for the elephants. But there are no elephants for you, my friend. There are no elephants for you. Oh, my fucking God. I should have gone slow. Hmm. How far can you actually go? Actually, quite far. So. Well, let's go slower this time. How many men? Oh, my God. That's so many. We're going to risk it for a chocolate biscuit, my friends. So, how far can you go now? And you can actually get dropped off. That's actually glorious. I don't care about transgressing. And let's walk towards Ellis. I want to go to Ellis, and I want to see what's happening. We could also get some extra mercenaries if we need to. So, that would be excellent. So, let's end the turn there, guys. And let's see what the Ptolemies do once again. <laughs> what do they do? So let's have a look at Ellis and what we can do over here. Looks very much like we can't really get around. So I'm going to go over there. Press space, press space. Oh, come on. Oh, we're very stuck. We're very stuck. So I need to get my ships here. I don't think there'll be Ptolemaic navies around. So if we can just like jump on the ships and go and get Olympia, that would be nice. <laughs> we're going to have to heavily rely on mercenaries over here. So, Elephant Man, it's your job to have a look around again, my friend. Elephant Man, Elephant Man, what can you do? What can you find for us today? More Numidian mercenaries. That is really terrible. What a song, my friends. What a song. Who was expanded? Sais. No, 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 Sais. No. This is exactly not what we needed. Hmm. Well, we're going to leave that in for five turns. Because we're hard, mate. Because we don't care. Because we're hard. We do what we want, mate. We do what we want. So, let's have a look. We've got a lot of... Oh, look at the amount of places that have got to level one, con uh, like, recruitment now. Actually, none of them have the infrastructure to actually recruit... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I mean, the barracks are not that expensive, but... We can only afford one. Oh, dear. Where's all our money gone? Oh, probably queuing that in. So let's not queue that in for now. Um, and let's go back to those. And let's try and build. I mean, like, Leonton Polis is not happy. So let's go for the shrine to Zeus for now. But Prosopis over here. We're building that in Cato Diaspolis. Let's go for the... I mean, we could go for the practice range. That would probably be quite good. Because we do need somewhere else where we can build the slingers eventually. Uh, but let's go for the thing that's going to give us the most benefit straight away. Our Thribis, again, not that useful. Let's go for the trader. Our Sino Crocodilion. No! What bastards, honestly. I don't know why they leave it empty, though. But god damn, man. God damn. Stupid, stupid diplomat. We need to kill that diplomat. That would be good. So let's join up. Let's also go for this battle. They ran away. They must be scared. Well, they've got nothing, have they? They've got absolutely nothing. I'm going to be. Tr I'm gonna try and be very, very careful with the slingers for once. So, yeah, they've got absolutely nothing, my friends. What else can we do? Oh, we've got this army that's come to try and take us down here. Well, we do have a lot of troops around. 
God. Now Kratos is just upset. So we don't really want to uh, upset the apple cart any more than it already has been. Um, so, yeah. We could probably, like, put together quite a lot of troops to face this. But at the minute, they haven't built any rams. So it looks like we're going to have to just yo-yo across. But we do need to start building that second army. Luckily, we are recruiting where we can. Where else built a recruitment hub that we can actually recruit in? Doesn't look like anywhere else, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we haven't got the buildings for it yet in all these places. Oh, you can... Yeah, you are, you are recruiting. Good. Good. Over here? Yeah, no, no. Over here? Oh, we can actually recruit in Tannis as well. It's not worth popping that in just yet because we can't actually recruit while we're under siege. So that's fine. Oh, and we can recruit in Memphis. Let's go for that straight away. Where else? We need to find some places with really good military buildings. Yes. But let's go for this battle. It's been a little while since we've had a battle. We were mainly just looking around. Did I do the guys in Ellis? I did. Yes, 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 yes. So sometimes you lose track of turns. <laughs> Happens all the time, my friends. So let's get on to this battle. They have some Zistaphoroi. But everything else is so damaged. I don't know how they've got them so damaged. But they're absolutely screwed. We're going to absolutely destroy these guys. So let's go for it. So nothing complicated about this battle, guys. We are just going to try and envelop them. And get rid of them. I have left these slingers behind. I do not want to lose them. They're so valuable at this point in time. So we are just going to keep coming forward with the hoplites. Let's keep coming. Okay, we don't want them. We just want group one. Let's keep going straight through, my friends. And then we're going to get the attack orders going. When we get in here, get into the Thurio-4. You guys get in there. You guys get in there. You guys come through. You guys get up that way. And this unit can keep coming round too. These guys, I want them to come all the way through that way. And the cavalry, we're going to bring them round this way as well. You guys get in there. You're going to fight the Zistaphori. No problem with that. You guys fight the Zistaphori. Everyone else, keep coming. You kill them. What are these? Prodromoi. Don't really care about them. Going to get these guys around this way. And we're going to bring the cavalry all the way around. Looks like the Zistaphori is going. We're going to try and fully surround this whole army, guys. It's a little bit messy. It's a little bit messy. But how good can we get this if we can surround this whole army? Looks like they're getting a little bit stuck in there. Look at our troops rushing around. Fantastic to see. The only thing we've got to worry about is that Prodromoi. So I might bring the Slingers forward now. And who else do we have? Our poor, uh, our poor guys are just in an absolute, you know, absolute uh, mosh pit over here. You guys get them. You guys get into these guys all the way over this way. You're kind of done here. Kill those skirmishers. We're going to try and kill the Prodromoi. Looks like they are charging anyway. Nice. Let's go. We'll absolutely destroy the Prodromoi over here. Very nice indeed. Get those skirmishers. Get them, boys. Get them. Yes! Kill the Greek Slingers. Oh, baby. Full encirclement here. Full encirclement. Let's kill that Zistaphori. Then we're going to have to deal with the Nubians. All that sort of thing. No problem with that. Let's keep coming. Kill them all. Kill them all, my friends. Look how surrounded they are now. In fact, you guys get that way. One more of you actually over here. So, there we go. Just the whole back end is, is going now. Let's get you to chase them down, you to chase them down, and then the rest of you. Yeah, we're not going to deal with those, uh, those Nubian guys, actually, to start with. Who's chasing down? You're chasing down, so we'll group you two together. You guys, let's get you back here. Kill them, kill them, and we will charge these guys as well. You guys get in there. I don't, I'm not too worried about that Nubian, to be honest. So we're going to bring our slingers around, hopefully able to shoot these guys, because I'm just not going to worry about them for a second. We do still need to kill everyone, as usual. That's the most difficult thing here, is killing as many people as possible. You guys get in there. Don't need to worry about this. And you guys, if we could get, like, here, that would be fantastic. Kill, kill, kill. Kill them all. Very nice indeed. Not a difficult battle by any stretch. 
Although Abderos, let's shoot Abderos for a second. I don't want him to charge us. Shoot him. Would you guys shoot him maybe? That would be good. <laughs> uh, like I say, not bothered about those Nubians. Where are they now? They're over there. Good. Fantastic. Anyone else we need to chase down? Just these long spearmen. Not many of them left. Let's get here. And you guys just block off that unit. And all our generals. There we go. Fantastic. He's killed. So, now we want to come forward. I want you guys to, to face them. Everyone else in here should start routing. There we go. That's it. And I do want to fight them to the death. Just because it's a lot easier to kill them that way for now. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is bring the cavalry around here. To kind of block these guys in a little bit more. Although, Alois hasn't died. So... Do need someone to take out Alois. Let's go for a couple of the units. You guys get there. Are we killing this unit? Yes, we are. Well, okay. I don't think we're going to have be able to catch him because we'll be tired as well. Go, 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 go. You guys get ahead. Get ahead. Get ahead. Yes. Come on, the boys. Now you should kill him. There we go. Oh, okay. Just let him through. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted, guys. Just let him through. Just let him through. But anyway, glorious victory, my friends. Let's get back to the end of the battle. A glorious victory, my friends. And how many did we kill? I mean, it says two's left, but that's not true, is it? 54. Fantastic. Glorious victory. We did lose 500, but that was mainly all the hoplites taking a bit of damage there. And that's what they're there for, isn't it? That is what they are there for. So... I will come back onto the campaign map, but let's see where we want to go next. Here we are, and... Oh, because Alois survived because he got through our men. Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Well, we want to kill this unit definitely. So how long is it going to take us to get there? Just next turn. I'm not too bothered about this. If they try and siege down Alexandria, not a problem at all. We didn't actually get any, any uh, money from that army because we didn't fully destroy it. That's a little bit unfortunate. So let's take a look at what we want to build. We've got a few things in the works around here now, haven't we? Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, building. Mendez isn't building, though, so we might want to build something in Mendez. Potentially the market. How much money are we making here from trade? 159. That's really not that much. Hmm. I mean, crop rotation is good, but it's just so unbelievably expensive expensive i think it's better to build down in some of these regions where we have the new amount of uh new new uh, new people um how about down here in o oxy rinkos oxy rinkos yeah 102 how is elephant man is there any significant mercenaries available please tell me there's some somewhere i mean we've got these two but that is not good enough to take Carthage, probably. I mean, I don't know what they have in Carthage. But, yeah, it's not fantastic either. I mean, let's come a little bit more inland. Let's have a look. Oh, we got stuck. Oh, <laughs> goddamn. That's annoying. Well, we've only got two mercenaries available at the minute. That's, that's the main thing. And over in Sparta, yeah, we are stuck, 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 stuck. So, uh, let's come back over here. Let's have a look. They've got this army too, and they've got all these guys coming as well. Oh, great. It's just the big cleanup job constantly every single episode. <laughs> Hardly get to go and actually take more land. But I think now that we are, you know, training some more troops, that sort of thing, we should be okay. We've got a few more troops on the way too. We can probably, you know, replace some garrisons with some of these guys. So, yeah, that would be good. But, yeah, looking at it. We are training in Memphis too. And we're getting another training ground over here. Fantastic. Nice. Right then. Let's have a look at the buildings. Fantastic. We are pretty much building everywhere. Very good. Apart from Rhodes and Lindos. Which, yeah, honestly, the shipwright in Lindos might be the option here. 238 for a 8,000 building. That's not amazing. I can't, I can't lie. <laughs> Rhodes does have a decent amount of trade though. 1,300. So... You know, an Agora is not a bad option. How about that? That's not good either. How about the large temple of Artemis gives extra trade? Oh, no, it doesn't. Ha. Ah. Secret police HQ. It's only 94 it gives us for law. 
I mean, 94 for 8,000 is just not worth it. So let's ignore Rhodes and Lindos for now. They're just too far away. Unless there's actually a law building in Lindos we could get. That would actually be the best thing. Because we're losing 5,000 to corruption. I mean, 100 for a 4,000 building. Not bad at all. Yeah, I think that's the option, to be honest. And yeah, nothing else really for law. I mean, the shipwright is okay. But yeah, let's go for the execution square. That's good. And then down here, let's have a look at Oxyrinkos. Potentially an Oxyrinkos, we might want the public baths. Gives a bit of extra public order. Keeps them happy. Also grows the settlement a little bit. They are expensive as hell, though. Everything is pretty expensive for us right now. Have we got corruption here? No, no corruption. That's actually amazing. Um, let's go for the trade income bonus from Poseidon, though. And then... Let's have a look. Anything else that's nice and cheap? Oh, potentially a trader in Alexandria. We don't even have a trader there. What about the uh, the inland ports? Yeah, 239 from that. And it only takes two turns to build. That is definitely the option we want to go for. And then in Booba, Big Booba, we want to go for the Governor's Palace as soon as possible. So I'll try and remember to do that next turn. So we'll save some money for that, my friends. But anyway, let's end the turn and let's see where we get to. So they've got plenty of armies on the way. Um, <laughs> uh, it's not ideal, is it, really? I, I mean, it's just horrible. Every single time, there's just so many enemies on the way everywhere. Good lord, this is brutal. Um, just, it's, it, I just can't, we just can't keep up, I don't think. I just don't think we can keep up. But at least we have a couple of other things that we can be doing. This, like, this way is not good because there's a settlement there. So, I, <laughs> it's going to take us ages to get across to Ellis. But if we can get on the ships, <sighs> let's go around. And then let's have a look. What do they have in there? They have an army here. So, let's drop off the boats. Let's look for mercenaries. Oh, phalangites. Oh, my God, yes. Please. And sorry, Ellis. <laughs> Olympia must be ours, my friends. Olympia must be ours. <laughs> Let's also blockade the port. Uh, I, I thoroughly feel like... Oh, my God, no. Why? <laughs> you dickheads. I need to kill that diplomat by surrounding him with troops. Uh, we don't have garrison troops down here, though. That is the problem. Well, let's have a look. We can get eight of these boys in there. Let's enslave to keep them happy. And yeah, that, that was just annoying. Thank you, AI, once again. I mean, you could just come and take that. Like, it's not a problem for you. Just go and do that. Just go and take it. Right, let's start replacing some of the garrisons then. These are fantastic garrisons, actually. Um, hmm, well, first of all, I think we need a garrison in there just to keep it happy. So let's go with that. And then this garrison can come down to deal with those. Let's make sure we are still training more of them. We got more hoplites in here. And we have more hoplites on the way. And some prodromoi. We do need to like change out some of these garrisons. But I think we're going to have enough for two armies very soon. Let's just knock this guy back. And then we're going to go and attack them. We're going to retreat for a second while we do everything else. Let's also have a look at some of the things we've done. So, town grows, Heron Polis. Ah, we were saving money, weren't we? <laughs> it would be good to actually upgrade Heron Polis to get stone walls, because it would be a good defensive settlement then. Hmm. What I'm thinking is, if we have enough movement points to get onto that bridge, that would be pretty good. I go through Stratus, got Aniketos, plus one command and plus one morale. Fantastic, that's even better. He is an absolutely glorious leader. And in a lot of places, we now have ability to train. So I'm thinking, let's train that in there. And Arsino Clisma, let's train nothing at the minute. Nothing in there either. And Aphrodite's Polis, nothing in there. So we need to build some of the old... Some of that, pretty much. Let's build some of those. Kynopolis, yeah, we've not got any money left. So I definitely do need to upgrade a couple of uh, the settlements. I think it was uh, one of these over here, wasn't it? But I'll, I'll find it anyway. But first of all, let's get into this battle, guys. 
And we have Aristarchus. Good name, my friend. He's got some Arab camel warriors. Nice. <laughs> nice. Camels in this game, man, are awful. So that is great for us. <laughs> Although the, uh, the two full units of Phalangites with one with silver experience, that's slightly less good. I, again, I'm going to pretty much try and save the Rhodian Slingers and not use them. And we're just going to do the same technique. There's no reason not to, is there? And there's also a load of guys in there too. Fantastic. Well, let's get into the battle, guys. Hmm, so the Camel Archers are going to be a little bit of an issue. There's three units of them. They do have their Camel Warriors as well, but they've got no infantry pretty much, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what we want to do here. I think we still want to come and uh, engage them as much as possible. As quick as possible, really, now that we're up on top of the hill. I'm not going to bring the Slingers into play for a little bit again because I do not want them getting shredded by the Camel Warriors, or the Camel uh, Archers, should I say. So we are again going to do the same tactic. I mean, there's nothing really else for us to do here apart from surround and pound and marmalize them that way, hopefully. But I guess we shall find out. So we're going to take these guys, get over there. And you guys get in there. You guys come forward. You guys get them. You guys come forward. And then we're going to try and get this side up to deal with them slightly as well. You guys go and deal with the Matroi Foroi. We should beat the Matroi Foroi, no problem at all. And then we're going to come around this way with these guys. Looks like they're going to send the Matroi Foroi cavalry into the fight. These guys are already routing. That's embarrassing for them. Um, if we can catch some of these uh, some of these guys unawares, we're going to try. Our left flank is a lot weaker than our right flank, by the way. So here come the camels. The camel boys. Look how slow they are. They are literally pointless. They are literally pointless. But let's... Uh, Hmm, not going to catch those camel boys, are we? I don't think. So let's get back in there. Let's get you into there. And we're going to have to bring the cavalry into play. Probably around this side because I don't want to deal with those camel warriors just shooting us. Here come the old camels. The camel boys. They seem to be quite charging through quite well, honestly. So let's try and fully surround them. Let's go, 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 go. Go, my friends, go. Get in there. This poor unit is going to get destroyed, unfortunately. But we are going to try and come around a little bit more as well. Hopefully, we've got enough there to get rid of the rest of these boys. It's going to be quite painful. But hopefully, it's going to be good enough to win this battle. This is like fully surrounding them now. This is over there. We've not really been able to use our cavalry too much. But I'm thinking, hmm. I mean, where are our slingers? You want you to come down and attack them. You'd probably only need to get to there, really, with uh, your extra range from being above them. We can't really do much with our cavalry now. That's the only problem. Apart from chase off the camel warriors, and they're going to be... Are they going to be faster, though? I don't know, actually. Our guys are all fresh. That's good. But these guys are fully surrounded over here now. We could get around that way. I feel like we may be able to catch them, you know, because they are camels. They're not fast at all. So we're going to get our slingers into there. Let's go. Can we catch a camel? Can we catch the camels? Can we catch the camels? Let's go. Catch those camels today. Problem is, they're going to be firing at us the whole time we are chasing them down, which is not ideal, really, is it? That's their general, though. That's their general. That should really, really help us out. So, oh, we did catch them. We did catch them. Now, the problem is here... Can we actually beat them, though? Because, you know, <laughs> I don't think they're very good in melee, but they're also not horrendous. But as long as we just break them and get rid of them. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come back over this way. It's going to be a little bit risky. We're going to take a bit of damage from that. But that's fine. We're going to kill the Thurio Foroi. And, yeah, we've got these guys in here. Okay, we're breaking that Thurio Foroi now. They are fighting to the death. Are they withdrawing? Yes, they are. That's fine. I don't mind. Means they're not shooting at us anymore, doesn't it? So I want to get a good charge into the uh, the Matroi Foroi here. Or should I say the Machai Row Fori in Greek, I believe. The Matroi Fori? The Machai Fori. Into there, my friends. Go on. Yes, that's what we like to see, my friends. Very good indeed. Very good indeed. I'm surprised this hoplite is sticking in the fight there. 
Come on, we've got to break them. Surely we're going to break them here. Surely. There we go, my men. There we go. Have those guys got off the battle map yet? Uh, just about. Just about. So, what do we have here then? What do we have? 55 of those boys. Let's get you guys chasing them down. What I'm going to do... Actually, no. Let's get you guys chasing them down. And the rest of you four are going to come over here to add overwhelming numbers to one of their modifiers. You can see this guy's breaking. If you hold alt, guys, and, and uh, hover over a unit, you can see the things affecting their morale. You can see these guys are unhappy to see friends routing. And then they're, now they're happy over unhappy over exposed flanks. That is because that just popped up there just because we brought our generals over here, which they weren't doing before. They were not unhappy about that before. Let's kill those guys then. This unit can go and kill the Machiroi Foroi. And I think we're done, guys. Glorious victory. A glorious victory once again. Not quite a marmalization, but a good victory nonetheless. The hoplites again. You know, the brunt of the enemy force is always going to be on the hoplites with an army like this. So a good victory nonetheless. But a few hoplites that may need a little bit of retraining. Either that or maybe we can sort out some of these garrisons. Well, I'm going to move a couple around. So I'm going to move that into there. So we've got a two-man garrison. I don't think we can really afford to do anything else. These guys are also got good experience. So I don't really want to waste that experience with garrisons. But we now have three very nice garrison troops in there. We're also going to pop everyone else, all of these hoplites, into the city for now. I'm going to retrain the ones that we can, which is not many. Not many, to be honest. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. Do we have reinforcements? We do. So we're going to bring these guys up to there. Do we have anyone else? We've got these guys not quite getting there now. Um, what else do we have to us? I think we've got a progeny like this, for example, would be a good one to get rid of the garrison in there. Some of these ones down here definitely have bigger garrisons that we can get rid of. Uh, not this one. Definitely not. But that one's a great garrison. That one has no garrison. Um, and down here, what do we have? Yes, you could get rid of you. And yeah, fantastic. Well, let's see what we want to do. How are we doing over here? Yes, we're good. We're sieging down Olympia. I feel like we're going to get attacked there. Let's also have a look. Any mercenaries available again? Any good amount of mercenaries? I mean, Namidian archers, that's actually not too bad. Not too bad. Don't mind that at all. Um... Hmm, just more Numidian archers. That's, like, pretty much everything. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nothing in there. What about in the desert over here? Nothing on the coast. So few mercenaries, man. Where are all these mercenaries? <laughs> Where have they gone? Where are they, my friends? Where are they? Uh, but anyway, let's have a look next turn. And I, You know, Carthage is not protected by much, guys. And the AI is not the cleverest. So, if we can get four or five units, I feel like we can definitely take Carthage, but it's going to be quite difficult. <laughs> so, let's end the turn, and let's see where we get to. Oh, hello, Nabatea. What are you doing, my friends? That would be amazing if you decided to attack some of these armies for me. Please, maybe? <laughs> let's see how much this is going to cost to retrain all these guys. I'm assuming a lot. Um, Actually, a decent amount. So, we can probably build... Not that, at least. But we can probably build the couple of others that we need. Ah, Saiz as well. Huh. Where were those other upgrades that we needed? Somewhere around here. I, I just can never remember. Repair that. Let's build this. Yeah, you got 7,000 troops. I can understand why you're quite upset. So, hmm. You could do with going in there, really. But for now, let's get you in there as well, because this is a pretty unhappy place. We've got another unit in there. I wonder whether we swap you into there for now to keep them happy. 55%. Have we got any generals that are very, very good in terms of their management? Let's have a look. Two. Let's look at the stats. Extra law. That's actually fantastic. You guys. You. You. You've got three extra law. Uh, well, obviously, Agathostratus is very good, but I think you are going to be the one. There we go. Just about making them happy. You guys, let's get you into there for now. 
And these units, let's replace a few of these larger garrisons, if we can. All these forts are fantastic garrisons. This one, for example, let's get two men in there. <laughs> and let's get out. How happy is Mendez? Mendez is still very happy. Good. Let's get back into there then. Where else has a big garrison that we could get rid of? I mean, here, obviously, but that's for a reason. Uh, three turns until that's done. Hopefully, we can retrain the uh, archers then, but I actually doubt it, unfortunately. Let's have a look. Garrisons, garrisons, lots of garrisons. Um, I mean, there needs a garrison, 100%. So, yeah, let's also repair those. I know that's a lot of money, but definitely worth doing. Hmm. On the garrison front, we seem okay, honestly, in most places. I don't know that we need to, you know, change any around too much. But maybe this one, definitely. So we'll get a guy on the way down to there. Um, this one, no, is good. Good. Right then. Well, hmm. What do we even garrison in here? That might be the question. Hmm. Is there anyone... Well, these guys can all, like, group together so we don't need to retrain everyone and just do that instead. Good. Glorious. Very nice. And we aren't under pressure anywhere this turn. So that's fine. Civil disorder in there and then we sorted both of those out. Heliopolis now is growing. Oh, god damn. And Mendez is growing. We just can't keep up, can we, <laughs> with the amount our cities are growing now. And, and obviously, like, they are, you know, some of them are quite rich, but they're growing really quickly because of the fact that the fertility around here, base farming level, 5.5%. That means this area has 11 fertility. Here, 10 fertility. 11, 10, 10. Wow, it's, it's a lot of fertility. That's all I'm going to say. Now, you, Mr. Elephant Man, Aristophanes, anything else we can get? No, not really. Where did all the mercenaries go? Who has stolen all the mercenaries? But anyway, we do have one thing that we do want to do, though, and that is take Olympia. They've only got two units in there, and a Phoebe's! <laughs> you fucking fools, Ellis. Why did you not come and defend your land? Let's go. Here we go, guys. We've got our phalangites in there. We are also firing on the town square with our slingers. Doesn't look like they're getting the best angle. So if I could fit them in here, that would be good. Remember, they don't need to, like, actually face the enemy. They could even be backwards and still fire at them. So if we can get at least these guys maybe here, that would be good. Go on. And then you can actually fire on them. Here they come, though. Here they come. They want to have a scrap. Very nice indeed. And finally, the general is off the town square, which is good for us. So I want you guys to fire on the Ephibes. See if you can drag them off too. The general should absolutely get ruined by these phalangites. Probably a too thin formation. There you are, Mosca. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, too thin this formation, but it's fine. These guys should want to fire Javis, but apparently they don't want to at the minute. I don't mind. I mean, these guys are coming out, but whatever. These uh, slingers are probably not going to get you know, have too bad a time here. How can they just push through the phalangites like that? That is dumb, man. Like, why? Like, how? Right, Peltas, you're going to have to attack them, for God's sake. Slingers, get out. You're too valuable, my friends. You're too valuable. So let's get you out of there. And these are Phoebes have taken a bit of damage. There we go. General's dead. Fantastic. Glorious. Come on, Peltas. God damn. There we go. Let's make this a little bit fatter. Should kill them, hopefully. Uh, Peltas, stay, 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 stay. Get there if you can. There we go. Want to attack the Ephibes with these boys. And let's see if we can bait them. Here come the Ephibes. That's what we wanted to see. Let's get our general around ASAP then to deal with them. As well as this Thurio Foroi. It looks like we've taken a little bit of damage ourselves from the... Uh, um, from the slingers but that's fine the slingers have also taken a little bit of damage these guys are shaken they just need a charge and then they'll be good looks like they might make it back there we go glorious 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 easy victory that should really help with our public order so let's end the battle and we have taken
Olympia. And I think for Olympia, let's just occupy because it'll be quite useful to have a good minor city in this region. Let's also get rid of that alien recruitment. Ah, hello, Ellis. Um, well, let's, while we're here, let's queue that in. It's 3,000 gold to, to, to build it. And if they come and siege us down, we will just go. So I'm going to leave behind just a standard Peltast. And we're going to pop out. And we're going to pop this onto, yeah, normal taxes is fine. And let's try to siege down this. Because I don't think they'll be able to get there without coming around Olympia. And they'll probably get stuck by Olympia. That should also have helped with all of the happiness in this region. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is really, really good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to go around all of the areas and see whether we can up the taxes in any place. Wow, that has really, really allowed us to build up some cash. We were about 20,000, I think, was it 20,800 or something? Now 27,000. That is an insane increase in the amount of money that we are able to produce. So next turn, hopefully, we can finally build some proper, um, <laughs> some governor's upgrades to some of the cities because... God damn have our cities been waiting on that for a little while. So let's do that. Let's end the turn and then let's spend all that juicy cash that we are making. And a classic. Our ships are under attack. Very unlikely that we win this. We do have a bit of experience and a bit of a bonus. But uh, yeah, we'll probably lose. We're on very hard, aren't we, at the end of the day? Crushing defeat, of course. Well, looks like Ellis is getting invaded by the Aetolians. Let's just check on that for a moment. Um, let's go on to the Aetolian League. And yes, Ellis is getting attacked by the Aetolians. That is fantastic. That's going to allow us free reign to kind of do what we want in here for a little bit. So that is going to be very fun indeed. But firstly, let's check those cities that need to upgrade. I'm also going to readjust the taxes each turn just to make sure we get nowhere rioting because we can't afford to be wasting money uh, repairing buildings. So, hmm, Saiz does need those councillors' chambers. But I'm going to go around, have a look at everything, and I'll see you after that, guys. So what I've done for now is separate this army into a fresh new army that can come down south, maybe join up with these guys, and I've sent a few of the new troops we've been recruiting down here too, and hopefully that will be enough to, you know, send down the Nile to try and take all these juicy minor cities that they have down here, which is a lot. I don't know, I can't remember when we got map information. Oh, we didn't get map information, we just have the spy over this way. So what I'm going to do is bring that spy back up to around here. And I'm going to send this spy out this way to go and have a look at what's around here in terms of cities. All that sort of thing. Uh, and try and find the other cities down there so we know where we're bordering. And yeah, once we've got that army, we can then send that army south while having this army up here to respond to things like this. More Arab camel archers. Wow. <laughs> they love those boys, don't they? I mean... It's going to be a little bit boring for you guys seeing three battles that are pretty much the same with the same tactics. Um, but le yeah, let's go for Leprion for now. So we've got a bit of safety in here. It's going to be a bit more of a difficult fight, Leprion, than the previous one. Actually, before we do that, let's have a look. Is there any mercenaries available in here? There are lots of mercenaries. Cretan archers would be amazing. 2,600 we need from them. I haven't actually looked at where my diplomats are for a little while. So I wonder whether Sinope would take some map information for about 1,000 gold, please, maybe? No, probably they've probably just taken it before. So what do we have? That's more Sinope. Sinope's all the way down here, aren't they? Um, have we talked to Gangra? Probably. Uh, so let's come up this way. Where's our other diplomat? He's over here. Hmm, there's surely someone we can sell some map information to, especially around the Thracian lands. 
900? Would you consider 640. I mean, that's good. Not quite enough to get those guys yet. Let's talk to the Adrissians then as well. Um, what if I give you ma military access? I know you're miles away, but how do you feel about military access? You do nothing no, of course they don't want it. What about Bessie? Let's go for an alliance that's demanding. So map information instead. Let's go for like 700. Should be nice and cheap. There we go. Now we can get some Cretan archers, which is going to be very helpful in this fight when they have a few of the Slinger Boyos. Very good. Right, let's get into Leprion then, my friends. Here we go, guys. We're fighting the General. So we're going to get our Thurio 4 through. We've also broken their archers or slingers or whatever they were. I think they were slingers. But let's bring these guys through here. Hopefully able to fire at the Thurio Foroi now, which would be great. Uh, but we need the these guys to get a move on, really. How are we doing against their general? Looks like we're absolutely shredding them. They do have two silver experience, which is a pretty darn good general, I'm not going to lie. Hopefully we don't get, you know, javelined by the Thurio Foroi. But you never know what's going to happen, do you? Oh, goddamn. The Thurio Foroi have come in. And they are firing their javelins. So we're going to get our general out. Go, 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 go. Get through, my friends. Get through. I think they'll be okay. Just get out. Just get out. We don't want to do anything else. Get out of there. And we are going to send our hoplites into the back there ASAP. We're going to send these guys through. They should be able to fire at them for now. Just kill them ASAP. Kill them quick, 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 my friends. Quick. I know it takes you a while to fire, but just kill them. And then this unit should be able to deal with everything else. We're going to bring the generals back up towards us. There we go. We actually lost a few of our own men from that. So we're going to bring our archers through that way. And now we've got the squish off. We should be good. We should be good. Let's get the squish. Come on, guys. Speed up. 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 There we go. There's the general dying anyway. Phalanx mode. Phalanx mode. Kill them. Now you need to come and kill the Thurio 4, right? Guys, that's not a phalanx. There we go. <laughs> that's better. How many times have we said and seen that so far? Uh, a lot of times. A lot of times. Now we just need to wait for two minutes. And hopefully we're good. Hopefully we're good. We should be in a good position here. Guys, come through. For God's sake, don't just stand there. Come through. Come through. That's it. Into the fight there. That's better. That's better. There we go. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. A glorious victory then, my friends. Fantastic. We did lose 100 men, and a lot of those were phalangites, which is a bit unfortunate because they're very valuable units at this point. But it's fine. We're still going to do well, my friends. So let's get off this, and another city in Ellis is ours. Another city is ours, and of course we're going to occupy. We can't afford to be enslaving anymore. That's just really not going to work for us so i think we go straight on to megalopolis now we don't have many many troops this guy is our current general right now these guys are less good how is he he's bright magnetic and vigorous that is fantastic well supplied of course plus one morale for being a social drinker that's fine democrat for law conqueror of olympia and a just despoiler which is more morale so we definitely want to take this guy, three troop morale and movement points. So I'm wondering if we just leave behind Theocedes um, and potentially go for Megalop. Looks like Ellis has been really quite powerful in this area. And they didn't expect anything like this, did they, my friends? We are getting a spy so I can actually have a look at what else is around here. But yeah, glorious, glorious, glorious. Let's go back across to the Nile Delta. <laughs> it feels so weird every time doing that. And let's go after Ducalos. So, one big battle to finish the episode on, my friends. Let's go. Well, here we go again, my friends. And again, we're going to use our, um, our missile men sparingly. And we're just going to do the same tactic that we have done many times before. We're just going to pop that way for now, just so that we stay... Within a good distance. It looks like they are bringing their cavalry forward straight away. So we've got to be wary of that and go and meet them if we need to. I mean, the general does want to come and have a party, it seems. In the desert, too, we should get a bit more fatigue than normal compared to their Arabic troops, definitely. So once we're in here, we are going to do the same thing that we've done before is encircle them. Looks like the right flank is going to be the encirclement this time. 
And it doesn't really matter how we encircle them or anything like that. But as long as we do encircle them, that's the main thing. So we want to come up. Let's get rid of that Akontistai. Let's keep coming forward. Looks like the Matroid Foroid Cavalry is continuing on. So let's keep coming forward. Don't, they don't have that many infantry troops. So let's get around that way. Looks like the cavalry's coming for the party. Nice. Like to see that. So let's get these troops. Let's pop them up here if we can. There we go. And where are we going to send our cavalry around? I think we're going to go left flank this time. And yeah, again, the uh, the slingers can come forward slightly. They're just so valuable uh, in certain situations that there's no real need to mess around with them too much. Let's try and chase those camel archers. But it looks like we're going to deal with the Matroid for, uh, the Thurio Foroit. So let's come around and let's see what we can do in here. You guys can go in and surround their general. And you guys can come up this way. What do we have? Archers, phalangites, all that sort of thing. Let's surround these boys. Let's get their general deaded. Okay, what is my cavalry doing? Like, wh what are you fucking doing, man? <laughs> what? Like, why? <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> Honestly, Fucking imbeciles. Why? Why would you do that? That just makes no sense at all. Right, guys, go, 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 go. See if you can catch these guys. I don't know. You just need to touch them. That's all you need to do. What are these imbeciles doing, man? Looks like our general has died. Yes, he has. Because what? What was he doing? That was just so dumb. <laughs> don't need to do that. You do not need to do that, my friend. You do not need to do that at all. Right, you guys come back through this way. Fight that Thurio Foroi. Looks like we're doing pretty well everywhere else. Hmm, lots of guys routing. Good, that's really good for us. You guys get in there. Who else do we have to fight? These Matroi Foroi. Looks like Javelins are coming in. But I really don't mind that. Let's get rid of this Prodromoi. Go, go, go. You should be able to catch them. Nice. Let's kill the Prodromoi. Why did you turn? Tur Why did you turn? Kill them all. <laughs> don't turn. Kill them all. <laughs> Kill them all. Another guy down to one single unit. So we're going to have to be a bit careful with these boys. Let's come forward. What is this up here? Oh, the camel archers. They have gone for the charge. Glorious. Well, that's good for us. Once we've broken that prodromoy, let's get into them. That's their general. Good. Everyone else should want to rout now. Fantastic. Well, we're basically going to have to rinse and repeat this over and over again. Pretty much <laughs> throughout this campaign. Um... Uh, while we send that secondary army down to go and deal with anyone. Kill them. Kill them to start with, my friends. Just kill them. Just run through them. Kill them all. Kill them all. Good. Kill them. Kill them. Now in the back of the camels. You guys back up here. There we go. Everyone's starting to rout now. That is glorious. Anyone not routing? I mean, the camels, really. That's it. But there they go. They're all gone now. We should be able to kill an absolute load of them. So, glorious victory. I'm going to clean everyone up, and then we'll be done, guys. And I think we can call that one a marmalization. We only took 487. We killed 1,369. Very nice indeed, my friends. Very nice indeed. So, with this army now, let's retreat slightly back towards Tannis. So, we're going to pop into there. We're going to go to Tannis, just so we can't get attacked, because they're going to get stuck by these forts. that will be good for us and unfortunately diapetheus did die because he's an imbecile um so it's not really that unfortunate actually uh, <laughs> this army like look how small they are on there they must have nothing that's why we're sending these guys down how long until that two turns that's fine no problem with that at all and yes we are sieging down megalopolis over here we are going to be bordering then the GTS, but hopefully that will allow us then to get an alliance with these guys. And the Aetolians, if they continue to clean up Ellis and all of Ellis's armies, that's going to be glorious. So we're going to do one more turn, guys. And then after that, we shall end the episode there. Hmm, so it looks like Leprion isn't so happy right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't know whether this guy's got a worse trait or something in the meantime. It doesn't look like he has... Aristophanes has desertion. Um, I mean, yeah, that's that's fine. But let's see. Is there any more mercenaries available? Anyone else? Come on. Anyone. Really, just anyone. What about in Carthage itself? Surely. 
Oh, yes! Um, well, thanks, Carthage. Nice. I hope you enjoy the party. Um, I think they're going to sally out. That would be good for us. But yes, glorious. I maybe should have waited to see some more uh, some more things. Rioting in Leprion killed a load of people there, unfortunately. Um, allies in there. No one that interesting for us. Yeah, that's all fine. And yes, Lindos with the execution square. That should help out with the corruption in there. And Prosopis. Ah, good. Prosopis now has that. That's glorious. But we do need to check for all of those places that need upgrading. So I'm going to check that first. So I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. I have built in the Heliopolis or whatever it's called, where we can upgrade. We do also need to upgrade uh, Sias next turn, but we will have Rodian Recruitment 3, which will be amazing for us going forward. Definitely unbelievable. I've combined these armies into one now. So we actually have... A decent army there that can go down the Nile south. Now, that only has one more turn to go. So, I don't think Rain needs to do that if he doesn't want to. I don't think there's any need to do that. Obviously, Carthage is under siege. And we have the siege of Megalopolis over here as well. I am considering auto-resolving that. But I think we'll leave it. See whether Rain wants to do it. How many turns? Five turns until that does. Hmm, that's fine for now. But we are relying heavily on mercenaries over here. There's more mercenaries available, but I'll let Rain choose whether he wants to do that. I think if we did another battle, it would just make this video very, 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 very long, guys. So for now, I think this is the best option. We'll get all these guys in here. The Macedonian hoplites can kind of uh, be used as garrisons because they're just not as good as the Rhodian boys. Um, so we can swap a few of those in. And if he wants to train anywhere, that'd be fantastic. Well, I think we're done for now, guys. And yeah, they do keep on seeping through. But it tends to be the case that we just want this army <laughs> to defend up here. And we want to send this army down south to go and take the Nile. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And obviously... Always go to Rain's channel to check out the other videos and like and subscribe there as well. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I will see you all again on the next video.